So to transfer data from your iPhone to your Mac, there are two simple ways. First is you can either use AirDrop option to transfer files from your phone to Mac. And the second option is you can use data cable like this one to transfer data from your iPhone to your Mac. So either you can use a type C to lightning cable or else you can use type C to type C cable if you're using iPhone 15 series because it has type C port. So yeah, without wasting any time, we are going to see the process of transferring uh, files through cable. So let me connect iPhone to my Mac first. Now, once you connect your iPhone to your Mac, you will get a trust this computer pop up like this on your phone. You have to select trust option over here and it will ask you to enter the passcode. So you can enter the passcode for your device. And once it is done, you can go in finder option in your Mac and over here, you will be able to check out your iPhone's name. So you can see it is showing iPhone 15 Pro. So once you connect uh, your phone to your mac after that you need to go and select launchpad which you can find in dock option or else you can press command plus space bar to activate spotlight search and over here you can search for launchpad once you get launchpad you can open it and in the search bar you need to search for image capture so this is the application which we are going to use to transfer the data by default it will be uh, present in your mac so once you open image capture you can see it is showing iPhone over here. So you can select that iPhone and now it is showing, please unlock iPhone 15 Pro. So we are going to unlock the device over here. And once the device is unlocked, after that, within few minutes, it will start displaying all the photos and videos which are present in your iPhone on your Mac. So you can see it is showing some of the pictures over here. So uh, if you want to download any picture, you can go and select that picture, uh, you know, individually. For example, let me show you. So let's say for example, if you want to download one particular image, then you can select that particular image and you can select download option. And when you hit download button, within few seconds, you will get that file over here in the selected folder. Now you can see we have selected pictures folder. So the image which I'm going to download will be in pictures folder. So to change that, you can select this drop down over here and you can make it to desktop if you want. Now currently I have selected desktop. Again, I'm going to select the image I'm going to hit the download button and this time it is going to download that image on desktop. So you can, you know, see the image over here. Now, if you want to download all the photos and videos which are showing over here, you can select download all option and all the files will be downloaded to your Mac. Now, this was uh, one way of doing it. Again, if you want to download some selected images, so you can go and, uh, you know, select one particular image. Uh, so let's select this particular image and if you want to select multiple images then you can press command over here and you can start selecting the other images as well so you can skip some files and you can again press command you can select the images which you want to download and after selecting the images all you need to do is you you, uh, you just need to hit download button over here and all the images and for, you know uh, videos which you have selected will be downloaded over here so yeah that's how uh, you know simple it is to download uh, photos and videos or transfer data from your iphone to your mac i hope uh, this video was helpful if it was then don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you all in the next one thank you